guys, my name is Eliza Bennett and I am a senior at the University of Maine. I am here to talk about my new media capstone project. Starting out with the goal of creating a focused study of human-computer interaction coupled with user experience design, my capstone project was largely based and influenced on the concept of designing an experience. Also, it was also very influenced by my um, childhood passion of creating, making, um, sharing, and experiencing art. Every interaction between an object and a human is a very complex relationship that is always changing, it's constantly changing, especially in the face of modernization and um, technological advancements. Um, every day humans are developing new requirements and updated needs that require bigger and better solutions to be innovated in order to build better and more successful experiences. Since the 50s, artists, scientists, experiential designers, museum curators, and other creative industries have made a significant effort towards creating um, more meaningful and immersive experiences with haptic technology. to COVID-19. My project was to create this installation for the Maine Discovery Museum. Um, this, in, this mural would feature localized soundscapes of different areas in Maine um, with the goal of studying the process of designing this one interaction between user, art, and sound. Originally, the idea was to record binaural audio of specific locations that Henry David Thoreau had passed through in his trek through Maine. Um, however, as time went on, it was discovered that the sound quality would just wouldn't be the best representation of Maine sounds because it was just way too late in the season. So I went on and found sponsorship with the Cornell Lab of Ornithology at Cornell University. I collected high quality sounds of specific birds uh, that can be found in Maine and use that as inspiration for my installation. As you can probably imagine, uh, the approach of COVID-19 and the impact it had on our society, including the mandatory instillment of social distancing guidelines, um, closings of including the museum that I had my installation built for, as well as intangible impacts like community-wide um, increased anxiety stemming from the sudden loss of structure, the sudden loss of human connection that we used to know as a safety net that we were so used to. Specific area of UX design that I was concentrated on is largely uh, based on on-site first-hand experiences. Um, this included in-person observational studies and hands-on feedback. I was extremely stuck on what I needed to do to complete my objective. So I decided to delve deeper into the true definition of user experience and discover the building blocks of the foundation for a successful experience. So I uh, built an online interface uh, for children and parents and siblings of these children to interact with hand-painted visuals uh, paired with high-quality sounds of these birds.
My design process was still the same structure as it was before. It follows five specific planes of user experience and I'll, I'll delve into these individually after I list them real quick. We've got surface, we've got skeleton, structure, scope, and strategy. So starting from the bottom, um, strategy is where designers ask themselves, what do we want to get out of this? What do we want users to get out of this? For me, I wanted to change the way children interact with and experience art using haptic feedback as a solution to that. I wanted to create a successful experience that induces curiosity about art and technology as one singular entity. Scope outlines what's doable and what isn't. It really dives into what users say they want, what they actually want. I had two simple requirements with my website. It had to be simple, uh, but appealing. It had to have a, an artistic layout and it needed to be easily navigational for my target user group. After defining requirements, I now had a clear picture of what my final product needs to look like. So it's time to build the structure. This essentially is an in-depth take on interaction design. Um, it really delves into the architecture of how users react to, how they behave to, how they interact with um, these products that we are creating. I'm using principles such as consistency, learning, feedback, visibility. This plane also includes how people are able to cognitively digest information. At this point, I had paintings and illustrations of a number of specific birds and the corresponding bird sounds. My next step was to build an interactive layout that would work for children, which I ended up making a one-page scrollable screen with full-width images and layered backgrounds with vector graphics. The skeleton plane is where I refined the structure and identified specific aspects of the interface that really solidifies it. This includes building micro interactions and animations, um, building the navigation bar, and populating the pages with more informational content. Um, the ultimate one, though, is refining the interaction of playing sound off of the corresponding paintings with the goal in mind of um, encouraging users to scroll and explore more of the primary page while also making this one main interaction to be as simple as possible. This leads me to my final plane, Surface. Essentially, this is where content, functionality, and aesthetics can join to create a successful experience. This includes the image layout, the painting placement, typography that responds to the paintings, the sound buttons, basically everything that you see and interact with on the site. Ultimately, this interface that I built was very well received. In deploying this page, I asked parents to pull up the page for their children and had their reactions recorded with some feedback guidelines that I had sent out. A few of those guidelines included how were they navigating the page, how long were they staying in one certain area, um, how long did it take for them to explore the entire entirety of the page, um, how did it gauge their interest, did it gauge their intention, So takeaways, um, ultimately new media for me is all about human connection, um, but I've also realized that it's about how we create solutions to the lack of human connection because we, we very recently had to deal with a sudden loss of that. It not only affected our capstones and our academics, it also affected our 
economy, our mental capacities, and our emotional capacities. One of the metrics of success that I had in place before COVID-19, and I, I think it very much still stands today, is whether or not technology allows users to take drive and become enthused with a new way of experiencing um, and inherently being a part of that design. My most important takeaway from this capstone project is that creating an experience for any user or a creating a tool to experience is largely an empathy-based process that is to spark human connection or in today's case or in any case really um, the lack thereof